before the announcement clerk comes, our secretary, I want Ike to come up here and lead us in the old song. Come on in here, somebody. Amen. Now, that's the choir over here. And the, and the choir out there, amen. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you the mic. Because uh, if you don't want to come up here, you stay down there. But I just feel something in my bones to hear all. Oh, him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, Jesus is my captain, and I know he'll fight for me. King Jesus is my captain, and I know he'll fight for me. He had never lost a battle, and I know he never will. Well, he said he would fight my battle if I just keep dead. King Jesus is my captain, and I know he'll fight for me. King Jesus is my captain, and I know he'll fight for me. He has never lost a battle, and I know he never will. Well, he said he would fight my battle if I just. One moment in glory that would satisfy my mind. That's eating all the honey and drinking the holy wine. I be beached in around the throne, talking with Peter, James, and John. Jesus said it would fire. Just keep still. Sometimes I want to be in company and then I want to be alone. When all my friends forsake me and they cause me to weep and moan, Jesus never lost a battle. If I just keep doing King Jesus is my captain And I know he'll fight for me King Jesus is my captain And I know he'll fight for me He has never And he's never 
Boston Battle, amen. And so I want to thank Brother Isaac and the new United Amy Zion Church hymn choir. Hey! We thank God for you. God bless you. Right now, here is our administrative secretary. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Homecoming cookout will be um, next Sunday after service and we're asking all the members to please pay $100 next Sunday. And if you have any feminine products for the um, supply department, please bring them in after service. Thank you for every expression of love shown during our time of bereavement. We thank you for the prayers, texts, phone calls, cards, gifts, food, flowers, and support. Your love and kindness has been greatly appreciated as we go through this difficult time. May God richly bless and keep you. Love the Scott family. And also the officers will have a brief, like five to 10 minute meeting after service today. Thank you and have a happy 4th of July. Be safe and continue to pray for all our sick and shut in. Let the church say amen. Amen, amen again. Please remember the announcements, especially uh, on next Sunday, we will be celebrating our homecoming, and so we're asking that you invite your friends, invite your family uh, to come. Uh, we will be having a cookout, and all we want you to do is come, amen. And so we'll have persons on the grill already, so when we get finished with our uh, worship experience, we will be able to go and eat. Now, if you want to bring your uh, lounge chairs and things of that nature, Wave Miss Doris and Miss Dorothy. Amen. It's as if I talked to them for this infomercial. Amen. So if you want to bring your uh, lounge chairs and everything and so that we can sit up under the tree, praise the Lord, please do so. Please do so. But we will be having a cookout on next Sunday. And please remember uh, that our, our revival dues are $100. And, and if you can't do that, do the very best that you can. Amen. Amen. And then I want to thank God for Sister Michelle Scott and her family uh, for being with us this uh, morning. Can we just blow our horns and thanksgiving? <laughs> Praise the Lord for them being back with us. We are still praying for you, and you know that you are in our prayers. And we are your family, so if there's anything that you need, Please don't uh, hesitate to reach out. Uh, at this time, the word of God is going to come from Psalms 100. Psalms 100. Psalms 100. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his course with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless him for the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. And the people of God said amen, amen, and amen. I want to speak to you from the thought I am committed to praise. I am committed to praise. Let us pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask right now that you get into this word and you allow it to accomplish what it's being sent out to do. Lord God, anoint me a thrash in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let them hear sharing, but let them hear you. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen and amen. Today is July 4th. And we declared our independence on July 4th, 1776. But not only did we declare our freedom, but also we made a pledge to these United States that we would do anything that we could do to hold up our freedom. Well, on today, on July 4th, 2021, at United AME Zion Church 804, a Steel Street in Fort Mill, South Carolina. We are declaring freedom and we came here to give God praise. Why don't you just honk your horns for me? Well, there was a song that was 
recorded by Jay Moss, and the song says, there's a praise on the inside that I can't keep to myself. A holler staring up from the depths of my soul. So excuse me if I seem a little giddy or maybe even strange, but praise is the way that I say thanks. And so I don't know about you, but I want to thank the Lord for everything that he's done for me. So go ahead and honk your horns for Jesus. Well, well, listen, I can't help reading Psalms 100 without picturing just how happy and excited the psalmist David was. You can almost feel the intensity of his emotions when he said, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Well, we've got something to celebrate the Lord for. Because understand, we are filled with life. We were left here for a purpose. And because we are left here with a purpose, I am committed, I am committed to praise. Well, listen, listen. This psalm is written by someone who has experienced the goodness of God, the mercy of God, the love of God, and the faithfulness of God. And if I had time for a testimony service, which I do not, but if I had, some of us would stand up and just tell how good God has been to us. He healed our bodies. He made a way out of nowhere. He put food on our tables. He put clothes on our backs. He kept our children safe. He kept our parents safe. And because of that, we are committed to praise. But listen, there are some songs that we just know by heart. And if I want to go back to the oldest, I'm talking about the 60s and the 70s, I got a good conglomerate of people right here, but if I would name such songs as, I'm gonna wait till the midnight hour, or I heard it through the grapevine, or sugar pie, honey bunch, or money, 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 or sun sealed, delivered, I am yours, or the tears of a crown, or stop in the name of love, and I love this song, Don't Mess With Me. And I used to have a boyfriend named Bill, and I would tell everybody, don't mess with Bill, because he belongs to me. But how about when we begin to praise God for what he's done for us? I don't have to name a song. I don't have to dance, but when I think about what God has done for me, of his pastor. I'm through. Play something very softly. Listen. Well, you know that the Lord is good. And you know that he's made a way out of no way. Nobody ought to ask you to have to clap your hands. Nobody ought to ask you to stand up. Nobody ought to ask you to turn around and give your neighbor a high five and buck your neighbor on the hill. Because if God has done something to you, and done something for you. You are committed. You're committed to praise. 
Listen, he reminded us in the Psalms that we are his sheep and we are part of his pasture. That means whatever, Renard, you want, God's got it. It means whatever God has promised you, Brenda, he'll bring it to pass because we belong to him and we graze in a pasture that he has provided for us. Psalms 104 says, enter his courts with thanksgiving and in his courts with praise, give thanks to him and bless his name. Just by us gathering here today, we're blessing the name of our Lord. The smiles that you give to one another, you're blessing the name of the Lord. Listen, when I came out here, we began to engage in worship. I saw Michelle and people going up to her and sharing the love for her and the mere fact that she's going through something. And because we are his sheep and one of our sheep is hurting, the other sheep ought to just go around her and begin to comfort her. Not just that, but I saw Mr. Tommy walking in here, separating them squash, amen. That's a blessing from the Lord. And that's why we need to give thanks. The mere fact, and I keep saying this over and over again, but I'm going to say it. The mere fact that you survive this pandemic, not, not one of us have not had anybody that has died from this. There are names on this district. If I call, they are going home to be with the Lord. But he left us here for a purpose. The fifth verse says, because this is the gratitude theme of the verse of this text. It says, 105, it says, for the Lord is good. His loving kindness is everlasting. And his faithfulness is to all generations. The statement for the Lord is good sums of God's character. And it's more than sufficient reason for us to praise him. He indeed is good. Someone has rightly stated that God does not use us because we are good, but because he is good. We should praise him because he is good and merciful and absolutely trustworthy. If I could just, I haven't been here long. But I've been here enough for us that we have lived through some tragedy. Well, we lived through sin, being called home to be with the Lord. We've been here with those persons that have been able to ask the Lord to have mercy on them while they bear the burden of a lost loved one and even on this morning I was met with another prayer concern but I know God has already worked it out and so right now I'm going to give him thanks for what he is going to do and how he is going to do it so are you commanded to praise you have an obligation to the Lord to thank him for all that he's done. So for just a moment, I'm going to give you an opportunity just to thank him privately for what he has done. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God, because we have been commanded to praise. And we thank you, God. Some of us are hurting right now, but it won't stop our praise. Some of us are depressed right now, but it won't stop our praise. Some of us are so disappointed, but it will not stop our praise. 
some of us are hurting physically and emotionally and mentally but it won't stop our praise so God we're going to commit it to praise you when we're up and we're committed to praise you when we're down. We're committed to praise you when we're disappointed. Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy where mercy can be found. But, oh, God, we ask right now that you lift the spirit of heaviness and replace it with joy. Joy everlasting. Thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing. What you're doing for United and Amazon Church. What you're doing for us individually. What you're doing for our families, for our marriages, for our community, for our workplaces. We're just thanking you right now. And we are committed to praise. No hell or hot water will stop our praise. Because it's through our praise and worship that we see you clearly, that we love you more intimately, that you're preparing us for the work that you have predicted and anointed in our lives. So thank you. Thank you for every heartache. Thank you for every disappointment. Thank you for every victory. Thank you for every joy. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. In Jesus' name we pray.
to the church to be in prayer for my son Chad and his wife Shemeca. She was pregnant, but she lost both the twins. Amen. And they have been trying to get pregnant now for 17 years. They're both 41. And so they're going to try one more time. Uh, they have the intro, whatever that is, the IVF. And so I'm asking if you would just keep them in your prayers because they are crushed. And we are crushed too, amen. But I know God has a plan. And so I'm leaning and trusting on him. But if when you pray, if you would just remember my son and my daughter-in-law's name, Chad and Mecca. If you would keep them in your prayers, I would certainly appreciate it. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask, um, we have some squash and we're going to put it on the porch and you're welcome to come and get uh, you a mess of squash. Amen. And we're asking if um, Sabrina, if you would come, we're also going to uh, we have a basket that we're going to give and she's going to come right now for that uh, right now. Let's say amen! Amen! been pulled and the winner of this lovely basket uh it's a date basket hang on there somebody and that basket the name that's been pulled is mr james Fairclaw. <laughs> come on that debonair young man next Sunday. 12 o'clock next Sunday. Amen. 12 o'clock next Sunday. Now we're going to do an old quartet song. Right. Don't follow me. Amen. Okay. We're going to do an old quartet song to send y'all home. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? <laughs> Has the Lord done anything for you? Oh, you are Run and tell that. Come on, come pick it up. I'm a living witness. You done for many things for me. You are the run and tell that. Hey, have you done? Done anything for you? Oh, you are. Oh, I'm a living witness. He's 
sinners. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, to present you faultless before his glory with exceeding joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.